So hey guys, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install Counter Strike server in uh, Linux Debian 32-bit uh, using Steam CMD. <clears throat> so for that, you'll need uh, basically two programs. That's a uh, Putty and a uh, FileZilla. So I'll put in a description where you can download it. These programs are freeware, so you can use them without fear. <clears throat> so, first of all, you need to log into your VPS server. Once you've done that, create a new directory. Directory? Directory? I don't know, whatever, you know. Create a new directory where your server files will be located. So, let's say um, mk there and uh, servers. Let's say like that. Then go to your created directory just like that now you need to uh, download steam cmd script so just like that all these well all these files will be in a description so you can you know check it out and just copy paste so yeah you download steam cmd once you've done that you need to extract it so just like that done uh, we got it now so now you need to uh, download the game so this part loads the steam cmd script uh, and uh, next you need to log in because we're downloading counter-strike we can log in to steam anonymously Next, we need to specify the directory where our server files will be. So that's USR servers, let's say server 1 or CS. Okay, CS. So that's it. Then we uh, specify the game we want to download. You need to type here the ID where you can know all the available IDs. Uh, what game servers you can install and what uh, set its ID is I'll uh, put an uh, address where you can you know look what ID it is so counter-strike ID is 90 so we just do like that and the uh, last option is that uh, to quit the steam CMD after everything is done so yeah you just copy it and uh, paste run that's it it's uh, updating. First of all, it updates Steam CMD to get the latest version. Then it will download the Counter Strike files, and uh, that will be pretty much it. Yeah, once this all thing is done, you'll need to use same command once more because uh, it's some kind of bug. I don't know Valve knows about it, but it's not. I guess it's not fixable yet so they say that it needs to be launched same command twice because after first download some files are missing and because of that you wouldn't be able to start your server so that's pretty much it now all you need to do is wait <clears throat> during this period of time we can upload our script with this script we'll uh, launch our server to work so you connect to your VPS go to the directory yeah directory we've created and it's our server here will be you know later on so you can just upload it and grant some privileges that's 755 done you can you know close it you're not gonna need it anymore so all you need to do now is uh, wait until all files will be downloaded I guess I'll just you know pause it until it's done and then I'll be back <coughs> so yeah it's about to end the first downloading 
as I said, you need to launch the same command once more. Yeah, success. It, it tries successful, success, but it, it not really, you know. So all you need to do is uh, type same command once more and few more files will be downloaded. That shouldn't take long. I know like, yeah, that won't take long. But I'll still pause it, you know, and I'll be back when it's done. Yeah, so it's about to end. Yeah, here it is. It have ended. And now we have full installed uh, Counter-Strike server. Now what you, we can test it, you know, test it out to start. So what you're going to do is uh, go to the CS folder and uh, start the script we have uploaded a little bit earlier. So that's start CS and hit enter. That's it. It's done. We're running. We can, you know, check it out if you want to with a hash l s w <laughs> just uh here it is it's our server it's up and running and now we can just what's the recon that it is and uh just say test oh what the fuck what the fuck Oh, oh, okay, okay. I did a mistake. I did a mistake. Here it is, okay. And uh, let's say last name, last name, blah blah blah. Done. We have a Counter Strike server. By the way, uh, to install any other mm, available dedicated server from Steam, like Counter-Strike Global Offense or uh, Left 4 Dead so that's pretty much everything well not pretty much it's everything the same but what you need to do is uh, uh, type different ID uh, like I said earlier so you need when you got your Steam CMD and extract it you type this you know line to download the server to download the counter-strike server you type ID 90 if you want let's say download uh, left for dead dedicated server so then you can watch its ID on this web page and let's say left for dead it's a uh, this ID so you know just replace 19 with this and that's it you download the uh, left for dead dedicated server if you want uh, Counter-Strike Global Offense, so you type this ID, you know, and uh, yeah, that's it, you download Counter-Strike Global Offense. Uh, it's the all servers available and it's IDs, you know, so you can download any of these, of this. I just took as example the Counter-Strike server. So yeah, that's it. Everything what you saw in this video every material you know every URL address you can find in the description so check it out and I uh, hope I helped you see you next time